guys, I'm Adeline Harvey. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We're going to talk about vibrato. We're going to revisit it um, because I get a lot of questions about can it be developed? Can it be controlled? What are the conditions that help create vibrato? So we're going to talk about that today. I'll give you a very simple exercise that will have you spinning and shimmering in no time. So if you liked today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I'd love to see you here more often. So what is vibrato? Quick, easy answer. It is a microscopic oscillation of air pressure. It's like a little variant of air pressure that allows your voice to relax. So that's an important thing to think about. It allows the voice to relax because of that little wiggle wiggle of air pressure. Now, why do we love it so much? That really is the question, isn't it? We love it because it adds a shimmer and it can really enhance the quality of a singer's tone quality. So sometimes, sometimes someone, and I'm not saying, I'm not naming names and I'm not saying, but sometimes a singer will have a decent but not outstanding tone quality, but then engage vibrato and it's really beautiful. So it can really add an element of beauty. And sometimes someone can have a really spectacular tone quality on their own and not really engage much vibrato and it's okay too, okay? So we, we like to hear that vibrato because it adds a vitality, it adds an elegance, and it can really enhance a tone quality. And I think given on the genre that we intend to sing with, certain genres will either encourage a vibrato and some genres will encourage it a little bit less so. It's like, almost like the vibrato makes it sound too pretty given that the genre of what the genre it's in. So we're going to tune in to that very microscopic oscillation of airflow. So here's what I want you to do. Can you give me an S sound? Just like this. Mm -hmm. And notice that in the, in the creation and in intonation of that S, there is a press of the air. Feel that? Now I want you to press and then let off of it, but still continue that S. So the vibrato will happen when you let off of it. It's going to happen on the back end of it. So we want to make sure that we stay in control of the S even as we're backing off. So let's just do this a couple times together. Ready? Take in a good breath. Good. Just keep your mind in there. Now, let's try to add a Z to it. Now, we're gonna go a little slow so that way we can make sure we're balanced. Because if your voice is not balanced, then we don't need to be going for a nice like effect, like stylistic effect. We should be thinking about balancing our voice. So we're gonna make sure that we have enough time to balance the voice and then we're gonna make it pretty, okay? So just give me that Z on the G, Z on the G. and aim for as straight a tone as possible. Again. See how much energy we have to press into that forward part of the, of the, the tone. Now, we're gonna press, let off, press, let off. We'll try it three times, but really concentrate on that back end of it where you're gonna let off. Again. Good. Couple. Just a couple with me. Good. Now let's convert that into an open sound. Go back to our G. And let's try goo. Goo. We're gonna go for a straight tone and then we're gonna back off of it, okay? Goo. Let's try two. Maybe one's out. Go ahead, puppy. Good. Now, don't think in your mind, I gotta make vibrato happen. 
Mm -mm. Just keep creating the conditions that help vibrato to happen and let it happen on its own. Here we go. Lean in, straight, pure tone, then let off. Yes. Yes, very, very good. Now, if that was hard, fear not. We're gonna try it again. Now we're going just from G, G4 to C5. So we're not doing a lot in terms of range. I just want your voice to get a little bit more connected. So now we're gonna go faster, because this might be easier if your voice, if your voice needs a little bit more of that speed to respond. So we're gonna go. Now you may think, because you're hearing, like, well. It sounds like the vibrato happens when I push into the sound, but it's still happening when you come off. It's just you're pushing in, coming off so fast that when you release it, there's the pretty vibrato. Yes, good. Yes, very good. Try not to set yourself up. By that I mean, don't judge your sound. Like, don't do it, don't do it. Even right now as we're playing, it's like, well, what do we expect? Do we expect a six oscillation per second vibrato to just present itself? No, not really. We're just really trying to create those conditions. Again, that slight that slight change of pressure. Now, this is not slight. We're gonna go, that's a lot of pressure change. That's a lot of pressure change. I just want you to get get cozy. Get cozy with that slight movement of pressure. Because you need to go. When you come off of it slightly, it's so small that you may just feel like it only exists in your mind. It's so small. When your voice relaxes, though, there it is. There it is. There it is. And we did refer to a slightly headier kind of approach today. Because again, if your voice is imbalanced, vibrato is not really going to present very well. So we want to feel that we can come into it a little bit easier, which we can in a nice head voice coordination. So real quick, that's how to at least get that vibrato, those, those conditions generated so you can feel what vibrato is supposed to feel like. You can take your time. If you just go, you know, that S, that Z, that thing, that was really, it was really hard. Concentrate on that. It's very, very helpful when you can separate yourself from trying to get that finished result. Even though vibrato creates a lot of beauty and it enhances the beauty of your voice already, I don't want you to be so focused on that that you're trying to control it too much. Be playful. Be playful in your exploration of it. And there are lots of resources. Matter of fact, I just did an entire live on creating and generating and sustaining and curating a beautiful vibrato. So if you liked today's video and wanna check that out, click that join button below, become a member of this channel. As a member, you'll have exclusive access to all of our lives. We do them every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
And if that's too late, too early, or just too working, like you're at work, then that's okay. As a member, you'll also have access to our members only area with hundreds of hours of voice lesson content. So yeah, click that join button below, become a member of this channel. It's only $4.99 a month and it helps to support your vocal journey and as you support us as a channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will look forward to seeing you next time.